Chat. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jake, <laughs> looking good today. <laughs> Thank you. But also you're thinking, what's it take to become a man, a real man? Okay? And the answer, the answer may surprise you. Do you know what the answer is? Just get married, idiot. Just get married, idiot. <laughs> Let's get married, chat. Down for Manly Prager you. Thanks, Nintendo Power. First you have to invert the bussy. That no 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 different. This is different. This is this is if you if if you don't this is uh actually uh trans fellas. Just get married, stupid. Marriage might have been fine for your parents or grandparents, but of what value is it today? Isn't it, as more and more young people seem to be saying, just a piece of paper? Yes. Well, it turns out that piece of paper might be the most valuable thing you will ever own. Besides your wife. Hey! Ba -ba -ba! Uh, I thought the answer was to fetishize lesbians and eat shitty to read a Yes, true. 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 Uh, Brad, Brad Wilcox here, Chad, coming to tell you, bitch boys, that you better go, you better go fucking get married or you're not a man. I already got married and then you told me to double marry him. True. True. Is it just me or does he look like a thumb? What are you talking about? This is a picture of a thumb. What do you mean? I haven't shown you a picture of a man yet. Come on. Come on, Sushi Mom. Pay attention. This is a picture of a thumb. Jeez. Oh. Do I, I'm, tired, I'm tired of watching this for you, okay? I need you to pay a little bit of attention sometimes, too, okay? He's an extra from Spy Kids. God damn it. <laughs> Holy shit, chat. Here's a picture of here's a picture of Brad Wilcox's family. A family man, Brad Wilcox is. He's got a nuke. I mean, the mom is taking the picture. It's a nuclear family, though. Take the case of Doug Talby. At age 18, Talby worked a minimum wage job operating a press at a factory in Indiana. And lived in his parents' basement. Okay, Harry Eddie, thanks for uh, the 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 not not the follow, but the sub. Okay, so so this guy did a thing. I didn't have a care in the world, Tommy says. Uh -huh. I didn't even have any bills. All right. But after marrying at 19 and having kids, uh -huh. Tommy's perspective changed. I had to step up and think about others and start taking care of them. This just in, adult gets married, finds out he has to adult. Oh! Oh no! Toby quit his factory job and joined the army, where he made significantly more money and received housing and health care paid for by the military. If you knock your high school girlfriend up, join the military. Whenever he saw a chance at promotion, he pursued it. It meant more money and benefits for himself and his family. Did this guy take like a whole fucking, uh, uh, what, what, what are those, those bars, Xanax bars? Did he eat a whole Xanax bar before he did this to calm down and then he got way too calm? I'm not getting a lot of, I'm not getting a lot out of this, if I'm totally honest. Join the military so your girlfriend can have a chance to come once in her life. Wow, Holly. Wowzers. Holly, did you have a military boyfriend that left so that you could just fuck around and finally and finally get the clume? Are you a cloomer? Holly's new lore, okay, is that she has a military husband. Fact. Holly lore... Holly lore. Incoming Holly lore. 
<laughs> you don't have to be. <laughs> wait, why do you gotta? Be, wait, why? Why do you? Why do you gotta be cis? Why you gotta be cis to have a husband? That's my question. He could be a fake husband. He could be a fake husband if you're like, well, because because I'm big gay. Mr. Comics, thanks for following. Maybe he's very progressive, okay? Like a military thumbhead would fuck a tran. Actually, the, uh, the 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 a lot of military members actually more more than the average population of military members are in fact trans themselves. That interesting. Um, but either way, uh, Holly lore. That's your Holly lore. You're married to a fash. <laughs> Yikes. Recently, in a bid to further boost his family's income, he left the army to work as a finance manager. A at finance a car dealership. manager. He's now pulling in six figures. Wow, that's. That's, that's, there's, basing someone's value off of their, their productivity under capitalism. We did it. We did it. We're, we're, we're one, we're 60 seconds in. Men who see no need to marry or who are reluctant to marry until they make more money could benefit from Talby's discovery. Marriage makes you want to make money. Marriage has a transformative effect on the behavior, emotional health, uh -huh. and financial well-being of adults, especially men. Okay. Men who get married work harder and more strategically. What about what you see on your screen right now doesn't seem like I work hard or strategically, chat? Come on. I'm obviously incredibly strategic. Yes, Lady Raincloud is our resident uh, military vet uh, uh, trans uh, mod. Why did I want to say um, fan instead of mod? I don't know. When you get married, you ascend to a mega chad. Holy man. That's how I do it, chat. That's how it happens. And earn more money than their single peers from similar backgrounds. Marriage also transforms men's social world. They spend less time with friends and more time with family. That sounds fucking awful. S saying a lot of stuff and not showing a lot of data seems legit. They go to bars less and to church more. Ooh. In the words of Nobel Prize winning economist George Akerlof, Men settle down when they get married. If they fail to get married, they fail to settle down. No. No. When you become married, you get, uh, you become a mega chad. I'm a mega, you of course are a mega chad. Okay? Okay? Find a new boyfriend at church? Damn right. Yeah, dude. Hey, if you want to get married, go for it. If you don't want to get married, I don't care either. Do do what you want to do. Giga Chad. That makes you sound like a robot, which I like, like a big robot, like a like a Zord. My own research bears out Akerlau's view. Married men work about 400 hours more per year than single men with equivalent backgrounds. You see this fucking stat right here that they think is a good thing? They think this is a good thing, okay? Men who are married spend almost 40 additional hours, like a week of labor, more working than they do when they're not. This is a good thing! This is a thing they say is good! What? <laughs> what? There's two reasons for this. Two, only two reasons. The number one reason is families are fucking expensive. The number two reason is f I don't want to fucking hang out with my family at all. <laughs> Come on, dude. This is not this is not a thing we should want. We should not want people working more hours. This is additional hours. Married male workers additional hours? What, what what's an additional hour? 
Because this is only 10 weeks. This is only 10 weeks. This is 11 weeks. Of 40. So this is... Okay. 400 hours, man. Oh, I see. Of the... Of the... Of the... This is awful! I get it now. I thought they were comparing, but they're not. This is still bad! We don't want to work! We don't want to work 11 additional weeks! In a year! 11 more weeks away from your family! 10 more weeks away from your family! <laughs> what? Of time! Of literal time! If you're married, you spend 11 weeks extra away. Not good! Not a good thing! A Harvard study also found that married men were much less likely than their single peers to quit their current job unless they had another one lined up. That's not a good thing! <laughs> married men are more likely to stay at a shitty job than single men. Yes! We know that! I didn't need this statistic to know that they were stuck. This isn't a free market. That <laughs> Imagine thinking this is a good thing. All this translates into a substantial marriage premium. On average, married men earn almost 20% more than their single peers. They only earn 20% more than their single peers? That's $5,000 per loved one. That's it. How much does it cost you to have a kid? For 400 hours. Wait, what are they making on average here? Hold on. Let's break out the old calculator. Calc. Calculator. Calculator. So 400 divided by 18824. I did that the wrong way. I did that the wrong way. Shut up. 18824 divided by 400. At 40 years old, they're making $47 an hour. $47 an hour. That's overtime. So this is time and a half. No one's going to want families now, bro. Because this is additional hours per year. Right? This was 10 extra weeks of work. At 47 bucks an hour. Fuck that, dude. That's even after controlling for differences in education, race, ethnicity, and other background factors. You can read more... <laughs> Prager, Prager U was surprised to find out that black people also succeed. They're like, well, isn't this weird? <laughs> Is it weird that the gays are just totally fine as well? Odd. We have to point that out to our conservative neighbors. <laughs> do you know race and ethnicity has nothing to do with how much money? <laughs> Fuck's sake, bro. Come on, man. More about this in my study, For Richer, For Poorer, oh. How Family Structures Economic Success in America. Oh, buddy. Why is there such a substantial marriage premium? There are at least four important reasons. One, after marrying, men assume a new identity. Marriage is one of the last rites of passage into manhood remaining in our society, argues sociologist Stephen Nock. He found that marriage engenders an ethic of responsibility among men. Gotta love bootstraps, bro. As well as a newfound sense of meaning and status in the world. Two, married men are motivated to maximize their income. This means having a- Why is that a good thing? This isn't a good thing to maximize your income. Different attitude toward their job. Toward capitalism. They work more hours and make better work choices. Dude, how do they think this is an argument that is good? Getting married means you win capitalism. I guess so. It's 
Studies find that men increase their work hours after marrying and reduce their hours after divorcing. Sociologist Elizabeth Gorman concludes that married men are more likely to value higher paying jobs than their single peers. Yeah, because a single person goes, I like my freedom. I like to do things that aren't work. And then when you have a family, you're like, fuck. I have to do this shitty thing. Or everyone dies. Three. There is evidence that employers prefer and promote men who are married. Married men are often seen as more responsible and dedicated workers and are rewarded with more opportunities to advance. How is that ethical? How do you look at that and go, ah, yes, the system is working perfectly. What? How is a system that bakes into it discrimination against non-married people ideal or just for capitalism? What? This is a bad thing. Oh, my goodness, Prager you. Fourth and finally, married men benefit from the advice and encouragement of their wives who have an obvious interest in their success. What about their husbands? Do you think Prager you would also promote the big gay? The big large gay? Doubt it. Doubt it. Marriage is good because my friends and I discriminate against single people. True. <laughs> what about the little gay? No, only the big gay. There is no better motivator than your spouse. The tragedy is that despite all the good news... Did you know that Sarah can't give me advice until she uh, puts a ring on this shit? And then after that, I'll definitely, totally listen to her. As we keep learning about the benefits of marriage, the institution is in retreat. In 1960, 72% of all adults ages 18 and older were married. Today, it's 49%. Yes. Simply yes. I wonder if one of, how, uh, how one of these videos by Pricker would go about the advantages of getting married for women. Hmm, interesting. In 1960, the average age at which men married was 23. Today, it's 29. Yes. Yep, still, still yes. The consequences of this are negative across the income spectrum, oh. but they are especially so for those in the lower and middle classes. Marriage is a clear path to a better life. It always has been. And now we have plenty of data to confirm it. No. That was, that was data that shows marriage is a sham. What? What? But if you still don't believe me, just ask Doug Talby and millions like him. I'm Brad Wilcox, Associate Professor of Sociology at the University of Virginia for Prager University. This guy's a sociologist? That's so fucking disappointing, dude. Sociology is a dog shit profession, for the record. Fuck all sociologists. I'm just kidding. Um, sociology has a big, big role in uh, history. So I had to take a lot of sociology courses. Um, so in order to determine whether or not a thing is good or bad, you, 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 you have to, <laughs> you have to apply a certain, a, thir a certain framework to it, right? To determine the, the the ideal outcome, and so the ideal outcome in this scenario, w apparently, is how much money the man makes at work. And uh, apparently, uh, by no sociological standard I've ever seen, he considers more time spent working to be a positive thing, which I can't imagine any poll. I don't think you could. Could call baby bird. Could call. If you pulled any population of people, I don't feel like you get the majority saying, yes, I would prefer to be at work more than I would prefer not to be at work. What? Nintendo Power, thanks for the month. Thanks for the year. Yeah, this is bad. 
This is bad. Not good. Prager, Prager, you could have done a lot better.